In today's video, I brought you guys a list of the best Blender add-ons for adding that sweet realistic touch to your scenes, whether it be for surfacing or modeling, like scratches, fingerprints, or to add damage to your models and environments in the form of decay and modeling imperfections. But before we continue, I want to let you guys know that the Blender market is having right now a huge sale where you can save 25% or more on over 11,000 Blender add-ons, courses, models, you name it. And by the way, if you don't know where to start, you will find a list in the description of this video with the best add-ons in all categories. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. We're gonna start with Realistic Touch from the guys at B Production. This add-on, as the name suggests, will help you add a realistic touch with over 204K and seamless textures. Among these, we can find styles such as fingerprints, dust, scratches, grunge, you name it. And what makes it even better is that they were optimized to work with Blender. All you need to do is just drag it into the shader editor from the asset browser, for example, and you are good to go. Each node also comes with a collection of adjustments, such as the ability to change the brightness, contrast, or colors. So you can use them to add subtle details, stack them on top of each other, or anything else in between. Because imagination is your limit, as they say. Still around the same topic, but this one I would say is a little bit different, we have an add-on called Mix Damage. It enables you to mix and layer different types of damage effects directly onto your mesh. And unlike other add-ons that deal with materials, this one directly affects your geometry, enabling you to damage the outer surface in addition to the ability to add various types of internal damage in the form of cracks and spheres. It comes with 24 procedural destruction nodes that can be mixed and layered on top of each other, but it doesn't stop there. Because after generating internal damage, you can access a different feature that allows you to add extra details like gravel, noise, and steel damage, helping you enhance the realism of your objects. In addition, the animal comes with a tool to add bricks, rocks, and steel underneath your object, which works amazingly well with internal damage. On a side note, and this is important, this add-on might be resource intensive, especially if you use it the wrong way. So don't bump up the quality when working on the project. Wait until you get a finished project, then you can increase the quality to get something that looks good. Next, we have OCD, and this one about imperfections that relate to actual geometry, not only materials. And this one actually received a 2.0 update, making it even more popular and valuable. If you are not familiar with OCD or one-click damage, let me tell you about it. This one is all about adding imperfections in the form of cracks or damage onto your perfectly crafted 3D models. You can use it on multiple meshes at the same time which is interesting. And you can also quickly toggle between different patterns by simply hitting a button to switch from different noise types like clouds and musgrave, for example. And when it comes to the update, the add-on came up with a new hero module, which is a solution for adding extra micro details onto your object by utilizing the power of geometry nodes. Using this module gives you endless possibilities by offering you a great deal of customization since you can use multiple geometry node setups and simply change their values. You can also choose to add more details, copy and paste the effect to other objects, change the relative scale, and use the adaptivity slide to decrease the intensity of your mesh, or I should say the density of the mesh, and you can even generate custom masks to use in the shader editor. I'm only scratching the surface with this add-on because it is amazing and you should check it out. Still with the topic of modeling imperfections and damaging stuff, we also have an add-on called Real Damage. Basically, it is about creating 3D damage, which can be frustrating if you want to do it manually. This add-on can easily create damage on any geometry. In addition, it enables you to add steel reinforcement grids and even create procedural concrete and steel materials. Also, it has a side panel to adjust the different aspects of the destruction effect, such as the level of detail, mesh density, internal damage and depth, as well as various seeds to experiment with, among many other things. 
And now, this add-on called One Click Age allows you to add various types of aging effects to your objects, which can be great in a ton of use cases if you don't know how to use Blender Material Nodes or software such as Substance Painter, or in case you want something quick and effective to save time. You can add different effects like dust, dirt, edgeware, grunge, smear, scratches, rust, and more. But you also get a lot of customizability like we have in other add-ons by giving you control over things like aging, opacity, location, scale, and more. This I think eliminates the need for manual adjustments. While you can easily tweak the properties and colors to match your material perfectly and effectively. And for most use cases, you don't have to get your hands dirty with any type of node manipulation, since you can manipulate everything within the add-ons interface. In a similar vein, we have Imperfected, which comes with a large preset of nodes that can be easily and quickly applied to your models to kind of add a touch of realism. It includes nodes for asphalt, wood, water, dust, smear, scratches, sand, rocks, droplets, and so much more. And you can easily layer different effects on top of each other, while being able to tweak each layer settings within the add-ons interface, which gives you control over parameters like scale, strength, and gamma. And of course, you can always get your hands dirty and dive into the shader editor for more control and freedom over how you want to connect and use your nodes to achieve different effects and different results. Age Effects is another Blender add-on that is all about adding aging effects to your textures by using the shader nodes to add those worn imperfections that can be found in the real world. Simply put, it makes adding effects like dirt in addition to dust a simple process, and you will not be sacrificing any performance when doing so, because it's gonna be all procedural. And when it comes to these aging effects, you will get the real deal. I mean everything. You can use nodes for edge wear, adding scratches, adding dynamic dust on top of the object, and so much more. It also introduces the ability to add cobwebs which are gonna hang around your object, and this is really interesting. In addition, this add-on allows you to add volumetric fog for atmospheric look. Also, it has a dedicated tool for adding flying animated dust particles, which is also of course customizable. Continuing with imperfections and details, but this one I think is raising the bar with the add-on called Smart Weathering. It is more like a software made specifically for creating all sorts of imperfections and weathering effects, but without the need to leave the software, which is Blender. It collects all the weathering effects such as worn effects, smudginess, dirt, splashes, dust, wetness, you name it, and it does this all in one shader. So all you have to do is adjust the values of each effect with a slider from 0 to 1, which allows you to pack all these details in one material without having to deal with hundreds of nodes. What's cool about the add-on is that you don't have to deal with the UVs. You can just keep working on your model and the texture is gonna be updated in real time. All of this in addition to a layer-based system in the M panel also animatable effects and a light setup feature. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.